Let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. Um, solo playthrough of Seastead. So I was always going to do one of these, uh, but I wasn't sure when. I did the tutorial and playthrough yesterday, and then at some point in the future, I thought I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough. And I got up this morning and thought, I'll tell you what, let's, let, let's do it today while it's still A, fresh in my mind, um, and B, it's sort of still set up on the table. So yeah, let me know if you can hear me okay. Chrissy says sound and picture is okay. So two new things today uh, for those regular viewers of the channel. The first one is I've got transparent chat. I'm not sure about it. I don't know whether to keep it or not because uh, it makes it a little bit hard to see. I'm hoping for a better score today. Yes. Well, Rick's not playing. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I, I've, I've managed to get transparent chat enabled. Let me know uh, what that looks like. There is still a purple border on it, though, which I don't want. How do I get rid of the purple border? Bear with us a minute. Color, layout, chat, chat box. Hmm. Yeah, there's a purple border on it. There it is. Purple border. Get rid of that. Boom. There you go. Uh, blue on blue, no good. You need red titles. Okay, bear with us a minute. Uh, I'm just going to do that very quickly, um, which won't take me long, he says. So viewers needs to be, how about, oh God, no, that's even worse. I think we'll just go for viewers in white or viewers in I need to find a color that fits. Yellow. There you go. Viewers in yellow, text in white. That's better. Right. There we go. Um, and the other thing, uh, which is kind of a behind the scenes upgrade, but my stream deck that I got yesterday, I've now enabled something called um, audio per scene extension or something like that. Basically means that when I switch scenes, it automatically switches the audio. So my microphone is off during the loading screen etc etc anyway it's behind the scenes stuff let's crack on with the playthrough this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to play the game that was yesterday today is just going to be um, a solo playthrough but i will mention how the solo game works okay so we've set up the game as normal but there is no other player uh, i'm supposed to use the blue ple the blue pieces but it doesn't actually matter and i'm using the orange ones because if you watch yesterday's video you'll realize that i've got a slightly faulty copy with regards to components hence these pieces that have been hacked together with a saw anyway so um WizKids are sending me replacements that's absolutely fine but i'm going to be playing orange um you use the a side of the flotilla tiles you always use the a side um there are certain there are certain cards that you take out so you don't use the decree cards uh, you take out certain ones of these specialists, depending on um, uh, what's printed here. Um, and that, that is the setup done. Now, we reveal this. This is the normal setup card. Um, and you would place this facing towards that player. But for the solo game, you ignore this. It just says, uh, when you reveal the top card of the dive deck, ignore the colored arrow and orient it however you wish. And when you take starting resources from the supply, you get one additional resource of any type. So it's completely up to me which one I get. I'm just going to put it like that because I haven't really thought about it. So I'm going to take a metal and I'm going to take an artifact and I'm going to get one more of my choice. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take another metal, I think. Yep, I'm going to take another metal. Okay. Now the boss, which is my opponent, uh, welcome to the Stream Deck community. Yes, same number of bomb tokens. Bomb tokens? You mean these tokens? Yes, this is the same. There's 20 of them. Again, these are supposed to be in a supply, but I've got them scattered out across the board to represent the pollution. That I will be clearing up. So the way that the boss gets uh, resources is the boss is going to get these two resources as printed here. But what you do is you take the resources and you put them on the appropriate flotilla tile. So there's a fish. This is the fish one. And it goes on the lowest numbered space, which at the start of the game, sorry, that should be oriented that way. Yeah. Uh, which is there okay later on in the game it will go to the lowest numbered space that doesn't have a building on it so that goes there and the kelp goes there right that is the setup done so the way that the game works is um there is no automa or the player it's just me taking consecutive turns one after the other but there are a few changes um whenever i take a dock tile i also have to remove another one from the game same with the specialists again whenever i take one i have to remove another one from the game um on my turn i can choose to dive or build as normal 
But what happens is, yeah, when I dive, the boss is going to get extra resources. Um, whenever I build on a location, you don't get the location discounts anymore. Um, okay, so the, the, the location discounts do not um, apply. You do get discounts for ships. Uh, and I build pretty much as normal. But whenever I build on a space that's got any tokens on it, I believe they get removed. Yeah, return that resource to the supply. Okay, now how the boss builds, the boss builds when the boss dives, and we'll see that, sorry, when I dive and I get resources, we will see that happening. Um, right, okay, so we're off. Let's give it a start, and let's see if we do better than yesterday. So, yeah, it's my turn. Do I want to dive? I don't think I do. Oh, I'll tell you what I should have done. Do I get a discount because there is a resource? When you build in a location that has a resource, return that resource to the supply. Location discounts do not apply for build actions, but ship discounts do. Okay, so I couldn't build anywhere. Uh, even if, if he, even if I'd have taken a fish for this, I still couldn't build anywhere on turn one. So I'm going to stick with the metal. And I am going to build... And I think I'm going to build a shipyard, and I think I'm going to build it... Well, I can only build it on the metal place because I've only got two. So I could build it here, or I could build it here. Oh, that's the B side. I just noticed that. I saw an icon there that wasn't familiar to me. Let's just make sure I've got the rest of them right. Yes, okay. So, yeah, see, normally... I mean, you can build on any spot. This costs two, this costs two. But this costs... You get a discount of one if you build a port, but not in the solo game. So in the solo game, you do not get that discount. So I can either build there or there. Uh, and since it doesn't... Oh no, I'm probably going to build there because that bonus is better for me right now than that one. So let's do that. Let's take my action and we're going to build a shipyard. We're going to spend two metal. And we're going to build a shipyard here. So the, bonus, uh, so the bonus for building a shipyard is I get a ship, which I'm going to put here because then that will allow me to build there next turn with a discount because ships give a discount of one and also I take one resource that isn't metal uh, and I'm going to take I do like myself some fish so I think I'm going to take some fish right okay and that is it that is my go done I've just built done those things got the building benefit which is mandatory Got the location benefit which is optional but i've chosen to choose uh, i've chosen to do it and that is my go done it is now my go again and i think i might build again yeah let, let's build again because i can so i'm planning ahead on where i want to be building these dock tiles because that's how you get lots of points in the game um so I think I'm going to build that there, and I think I'm going to build that there, and I'm planning on building that there. So I think I'm going to build another shipyard. So this time, uh, it normally costs two artifacts, but because there's a ship there, I get a discount of one. So for one artifact, <clears throat> I can build a shipyard here, which gets me another ship, which I'll put somewhere. Uh, let's put it here. And then I move this ship. So every time you build where there's a ship, you move the ship around. And then I get the bonus of that space, which is a non-artifact resource. And I'm going to take metal. That's my go done. I don't think I'm getting anything wrong. You take consecutive turns until the game end is triggered. When you take a specialist or a dock tile, you just get, yeah. Build action. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good to go. I think it's just me. Um, I'm just building. And now I can build even more because I'm now getting a discount of one for this. So yeah, I, I, this, this might be... This seems wrong that I'm getting all of these build actions, but yeah, this, this is how it's laid out. So yeah, if I choose to build again... Now, do I want the dock this time? No, I want another shipyard because I'm planning on putting this tile here which is going to get me loads of points called doing a rick um, for the dock tile. So my plan is I'm going to build that there. And what that will do is it will give me two points if I've got a shipyard there and two points if I've got a shipyard there. So that's my 
That's my plan, which means this is going to be a shipyard. So it normally costs two metal. I get a discount of one for my ship. It costs me one metal, and I put a shipyard there. Okay. That gets me another ship, and I have to move this one. Uh, and the bonus is that I can convert two of my resources into other resources. And yeah, I think I'm going to convert this. This might be a crazy move. I don't know. I'm going to convert that into that. Uh, and then we'll put these ships on. So that's going to go there, and that's going to go there. Okay, there we go. Nobody in the chat is telling me that I'm doing anything wrong. I'm going to have to dive in a minute because I am going to be out of resources. But yeah, this, this seems like quite a good start for me. I'm just building shipyards and we're doing stuff. Right, so my next action, so that, that I'm planning on putting there. Which one am I planning on putting here? It's probably... Uh, I think I might have done this. Oh no, it's probably going to be that one. So therefore this needs to be an academy so that I can then put that there. Let's just make sure I've got this right. Am I reading these right or wrong? I'm reading these wrong again. Yes. So <laughs> the shaded one is the one that's furthest away. Right. The light one is the one that's nearest. So it's, it, it's that. It's going to be another, it's going to be another shipyard. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's going to be this one. So I think that I'm probably going to put there and that I'm probably going to put there. Okay, let's, let's go for it. Matt didn't watch last night, so he doesn't know what I'm doing. Uh, I assume you're doing things wrong though. Yes. Don't forget you have to exile one to get one. Yeah, so my plan is to have that one and that one. And that's the one that's going to get exiled. So it's my go again. I'm going to build. I'm going to build here. Cost two artifacts. Minus one for the ship. It cost me one artifact. I'm going to build another shipyard which gets me my fourth ship, and I trigger this bonus, which allows me to basically move all of my ships around, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to put my ships here. Right, this seems insane, but that, there we go. That's the start of the game. I think I've got the rules right. That's the start of the game. On my next turn, I am going to have to dive because I don't have any resources. Okay, so what we do, we'll get rid of this card. We reveal this card. <clears throat> I can orient it however I want, unless... One of the sides has got um, an any icon, which you have to put, orient yourself. So I'm going to put it like... Ah, now, <clears throat> I, I know how the boss is going to build. So because of that... I think I'm going to have to put it like that, which means the boss is going to get three resources and I'm only going to get two. And you'll see why that matters. Um, yeah, okay, so what happens is I'm going to get my two resources as normal. So I get two artifacts. I do like myself some artifacts. It's nice because in the fl in flotilla, which is the, <clears throat> the, um, the, 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 the father game to this or the grandfather game to this, the artifacts in that game are all themed like... <clears throat> you know, CD case or, or something like that. Um, top of dock piece furthest away from the dock. Yes. Yeah, I just need to remember that. Uh, I get two artifacts in any one. Oh, have I, have I missed the thing? You might be right. You might be right. I know when, uh, whenever you take starting resources from the, dis from the supply, you get an additional one. When you dive, take resources as normal. Okay, so it's just on the starting card, you get an extra one. On other dive actions, you take resources as normal. Yeah, okay, right. So here's what happens. Um, the boss is going to get a fish, okay? That fish is going to go on this tile here. Oh, I should have, one of them should have been locked. That should have been locked. Um, it's going to go on here and it goes on the lowest numbered space, which doesn't have a building, which is here. Now, when a location receives its second resource, the boss builds a building. You return all of the resources back to the supply. The boss builds a building. He says it doesn't matter which. So I'm just going to put that on there. Um, and that's it. If the location had one of my ships, then you move your ship as normal, but you don't get a free resource. Oh, David's here. Hi, David. Thank you very much. 
for joining in. So yeah, so the reason I didn't want to give the boss these two artifacts is it would have built there. And that would have messed up my plans um, for the dock because I want to build a dock there. So it gets a metal. The one metal is going to go here. So I need to be very careful it doesn't build there again. I don't know how I'm going to do that. And it gets a kelp, which again, second kelp goes on that space. That goes there. It gets another building. And that is it. That is how the boss builds. Right. <clears throat> so we're back to me. I'm going to build. And I need to make sure I don't give it a metal next time. So I'm going to build and I'm going to build with these two artifacts and a discount of one for the ship. I'm going to build here. Um, oh, I had an ability here, but I didn't use it. OK, that's fine. And we're going to build a dock. Uh, we're going to build a port. So whenever you build a port, you choose a dock tile and it's going to be. Should we get the big one out? Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one goes where. So we're building this one. So that's going to go there. I get to move this ship. And that's going to get me a bazillion points for that. <clears throat> I have to exile one, and then we get two others. Exile's such a cool word. It could be used in every game. So where's this going to go? I think I'm going to put it there. Okay, and the special ability of this space is I get to activate one of the other spaces with one of my buildings. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to activate uh, this space here which allows me to take a non-artifact resource uh, and I'm going to take a metal. There you go. Now, if I build on a space with resources, return that resource to the supplier. I don't get a discount from that. No, I don't get a discount. Chris is here. Hi, Chris. Hope you slept well. The solo experience seems really interesting. Yeah, um, you never know with these solo games. I've certainly played some really good solo games uh, and I've also played a couple of ones where I didn't really enjoy it. Um, this one seems OK from what I've seen so far. Right, it's, that was me diving. No, that was me building. That was me building. It's my turn again. And I think I'm going to have to dive. I cannot build here because I need two metal. And I don't have anything else. I mean, what I could have done, rather than taking metal, I could have taken a fish and then I could have built there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to undo that. Right. So for this ability here, I'm going to activate that and I'm going to take a fish. And then instead of diving, I'm going to build here because you get to see something cool now. So I'm going to build here. It costs one fish because of the discount of the ship. And I'm going to build an academy. So a load of stuff is going to happen now. First of all, the academy goes on there. I get one of the specialists. Oh boy. And I'm going to take the salvager. So the salvager is mine. And I'm going to remove from play the spy. OK, so that's the bonus for building the academy. Then I get to use the bonus of the location, which allows me to take a resource that isn't fish. So at this point, I am going to take a metal. Then I move the ship to somewhere else. Um, and I'm going to move it to here. Now, what resources do I need? I need to be collecting metal for that. Well, actually, no, I'm going to move that there. And then because I've completed a column, I get this column bonus. Now, this is optional. You don't have to do the column bonus. And in the game last night, me and Rick kept forgetting to do it. Sorry, choosing not to do it. Forgetting. Um, but in this one, you actually do want to do it because Whenever you swap the positions of two demand tokens that are not locked, return any resources on those uh, present on those two flotilla tiles to the supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the metal um, for the fish, like so, and then this goes back to the supply. So it's lost it. Then you unlock that one, and I'm going to lock. I'm going to lock this one here. Yeah, I'd forgotten that. I'd forgotten the resources were going to change. Right. Okay, right. 
Um, I think that is it. I think that was my build done. I now have a metal. I can't use it, so I think we're diving again. Now, I do have this salvager, which I'm probably going to use at some point, because it's effectively going to get me three points, and I'm going to lose one point. So it's a net two-point gain. Dive. Dive, dive, dive. So that was the, what's nice is the, these cards are all named as well. I didn't realise this last night. That was the submerged port. We're going to dive. And we found the Brackish Atoll. So here's, here's the downside. This is a wild card resource. I have to orient that to myself. So I get one resource of my choice. Um, which I'm going to take. Because of this dock tile. I think I'm going to. Oh but I need to build that. I'm going to take a fish. So I get a fish. My opponent gets two artifacts. Which means. One goes there, and another one goes there, which means it builds there. So it builds there. Where's the... There you go. It builds there. My boat moves, but I do not get a resource back. So I'm going to put it here. Okay, right. So that was the dive. Wasn't ideal, was it? Am I going to have to dive again? I think I am, because I can't build anything with what I've got. So we're going to dive again. Right, the naval stockpile. So I could put it like that, which means I would get the three resources and it would build there. Am I bothered about that? I don't think I am bothered about that. Let's do it. So the boss gets two metal, which goes one there and another one there. So it builds, it builds there. Basically, the boss is going to get a fixed number of points plus three for every, uh, every building. Uh, and then I get a fish, a kelp, and an artifact. Okay. Right. Next. I want this card. I absolutely want that card. Uh, I can't build there. These are getting really expensive now. I could build here, and that's, yeah, that's what we want to do. So I'm going to build two fish plus my discount of one for the thing to build this one. So that goes there. Sorry, I'm building a port, which allows me to place a dock tile. I am going to exile this one. Okay. Uh, I've built the port and I get to activate another of my buildings. So I'll activate uh, this to take a metal. I think I just want to start storing up the metal at this point. Okay. I've placed the dock tile. This boat moves. I'm going to move it to... Um, let's move it to there. Okay, is that everything? Built, built a port, placed the dock tile, moved my ship, got the thing, did the thing, yes. Now the game end, just to let you know, the game end will happen when this deck of cards runs out, or I've only got one building left, or... All of the pollution tiles go. All low, oh, all low, all, one of these flotillas is full of buildings. There are no buildings, oh, there are no buildings left on here. Well, it says on one player board, or the dive deck is empty. Uh, and the boss is going to score 20 points plus three for each building they manage to construct. And that, that's it. Boss scoring is very, very simple. Right, okay. So it's back to me. Uh, I don't think I can build anything. So I think I'm diving again. Yeah, and I want to build an academy. Because I want this. So we're going to dive, 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 dive. We found the volcanic chimneys. Nice. Do like a bit of volcanic chimneys. Um, I'm going to put it that way around. So I get an artifact and some kelp, and the boss gets an artifact which goes here. 
and some fish which goes here. So it doesn't build anything, he's good. I'm not bothered about it building anything there, but I want to build an academy there. Should have put that ship there. That was a mistake. Right, can I build anything? No, I need four artifacts to build there. Kelp. I could build here for two kelp, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to save my kelp for the end of game scoring here. Metal, I want to save my metal. So I think I'm diving again. Yeah, I'm going to dive again. Now, this could be dangerous. Right, I think we've got away with it. I think if I put that there, like that. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So I get a metal and an artifact. One metal, one artifact. The boss gets a metal and a fish. So the metal goes there. The fish goes here, which is a building. And my boat moves. And my boat is going to move to here. Okay. I think we're done. Uh, Mark says, missed one building K. Sorry. Oh, boss right now has the, the same score as yesterday. Right, okay. Yeah, boss now has one, two, three, four, five buildings. So the boss is currently on 35 points. Don't know what my score is. Right, back to me. Um, I could build, but that's using up the metal. And is that going to help me? I'm not sure it is. Uh, I would get two points by doing it. Whereas keeping these is three points, so I lose a point by doing it. But I'm probably going to build an academy, which is going to get me a point. Actually, I think I want to do that. And I, I want to build an academy here because that's worth five points. And for that, I need fish. I can't build here because that's going to cost five minus one. That's going to cost four artifacts. I can't build there. OK, so let, let's do it. Let's build. Let's build over here. So it costs me three metal. And because I'm building on a location with a resource, the resource goes back to the bank. And we're going to build an academy. So an academy goes there. I'm going to move this boat to here. Yeah. And then because I've built an academy. Yeah, I'm going to do that in a second. Yeah, <laughs> just getting this right. Oh, it's locked. Can't do it. Rats. Anyway, I've built an academy, so I get one of these. I'm going to choose the boat, Swain. That's mine. I'm going to remove from the game this. We get two new specialists. We only have one specialist because I'm only using the A cards. Uh, maybe I should be using the Bs as well then. Okay, I'm going to have to shuffle the Bs. Because... And I didn't think you needed the bees, but because I'm removing one every time. There's not going to be enough for me to build all of my academies. Column bonus. Yep, I know. The, yep, I've got a plan for the column bonus. Now let's just make sure that the architect is allowed in this version of the game. Yep, architect is allowed. Right. OK, so the column bonus. I am going to swap this one. For this one. And because I've swapped where there is a resource that resource disappears, then this is going to unlock and that's going to lock. There you go. Right. Back to me. I've now got three artifacts that I do not need. Why did I build that there? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, let's not swap that. Let's, let's swap. How was it? I swapped those two, didn't I? Let's just put that back. Just put that back. That was there, that was there, and that was locked. I think I want to swap that with that one. And then I'm going to lock that one. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Right, my go. I still can't build there because I need four artifacts. Um, I could build here for the kelp. And I could take another 
specialist. Uh, yeah, we want to do that. I think we do because this kelp. Oh no, this kelp is two points. But building there would be a one point plus an academy, which would be an extra point. But it's about the same. It's about the same. And if I dive, oh, I've got this. I've got the boatswain. Right, I can do it. Yes, I can do it and I can build that. And that gets me that. I'm thinking of using the boatswain, which allows me to choose a location that has one of my ships and resolve it, which could be this to get all of these resources. Yeah. Do I want to do that? That would give me two more metal, which is worth points at the end. OK, yeah, I think we're going to do that. Or do we wait? No, if I do it now, I can build there. Right, I'm going to use the boat swain. So using a specialist basically means you don't get the points from it at the end of the game. But I get, I'm activating this location, so I get all of this stuff. So I get two metal, I get an artifact, and I get a fish. Okay, and that isn't an action using a specialist. I'm now going to build here. So it costs me four artifacts to build there. And I'm going to build. No, I did talk about building a dock tile, didn't I? Um, but do we want to build a. Oh, might change my mind. I'm totally going to change my mind. I'm going to build an academy instead. So academy goes there. Uh, I get to take a specialist. So I'm going to take the proprietor. Uh, we're going to remove from the game the architect. So I don't have to read it. And get two more. OK, these are interesting. And then I have to move this ship. Uh, isn't Boatswain pr pronounced Boson? Yeah, it is actually. I read that the other week. Um, it's just weird that it's pronounced Boson, even though it says Boatswain. Yeah, it was a couple of weeks ago when I, when I learned that for the first time. And obviously 50 years pronouncing it the other way. Well, I'm not 50 years. I, I wasn't pronouncing Boatswain when I was one. Um, but yeah, so it's Boson. Bo Boatswain is pronounced Boson. Crazy language. Anyway, so this is being moved. I'm going to put it here. We are close to the end of the game. Remember, if one of these gets filled, that's going to trigger the end of the game. OK, so I think I built. I built the academy. I got the specialist. We did that. We did that. We did that. Done. Right. OK, so now what's happening? I need to get a couple of metal um, to build there to do that. Yeah, so I'm going to dive. It's safe to dive. I think it is safe to dive. We have found the glimmering reef. Unfortunately, I get that, which is rubbish. So the boss gets two kelp tokens, which basically puts the building there. I get one of my choice, which will be metal. I think. OK. But then I'm going to use the proprietor. So when you take a dive action, take one cleanup token. Yay! We've actually started cleaning the place up and an extra resource of any type. So I'm going to take the other metal. And that is the proprietor, uh, which is apparently pronounced POTOR. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Peter's in the chat as well. Hi, Peter. Uh, Chrissy is saying Coxwain is pronounced Coxon. Yes, it is. All right, OK. I think I'm also going to use this salvager as well. So I'm going to use this salvager to take two cleanup tokens. You're not supposed to flip these over when you take them, and these are supposed to be in a supply, but I just like, I like flipping them over when I've taken them. Um, and if I return one of my ships to the game box, which I'm going to, 
I get another one. There you go. So that's all of my specialists used. No points for any of those. But now it's my go again. And I am going to spend four metal. And we're building here. And it's going to be another academy. So we build that there. This is going to move to there. Um, in fact, now let's move it to there. Yeah. So because I built an academy, I get one of these. And I'm going to take. Oh, no, in fact, I'm going to move it to there. Oh, you can't move it to there. No, 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 I can't. Right, that's a shame. I'm going to take the diplomat. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to keep it for the point. We'll remove from play that. Put those two in play, but it doesn't matter now because I can't take any more. And then the special ability of building all four academies is you get to refresh one of your things. So I'm going to refresh the salvager. And then I'm actually going to use the salvager again to remove this from the game and take three cleanup tokens. C -c -c Combo. Right. How close are we to the end of the game? That needs one more building, that needs one more building. And if I build another port, that is going to trigger the end. So I could actually trigger the end of the game right now by building a port there, but that won't get me any points. But how else am I going to get points? Am I going to be able to... Have I got enough resources? I'm going to have to dive a few times. I'll finish the sentence eventually. I'm working backwards. The longer this game goes on, the more points the boss is going to get from building. The boss builds really easily. It only takes two resources to build. I could end the game right now by building there. It's not really going to get me any points. It'll get me one point. But if I decide to carry on playing, then in order for me to build buildings on these, I'm going to need to accumulate a lot more resources. I'll tell you what I didn't do. I forgot this. I forgot this. I forgot the ability of this space here, which gets me two resources. Did I also forget the ability of that space there that got me a thing? I think I have. I might need to do a couple of undos here. Well, not undos, just but, but redos. I think I forgot. So when I used the salvager, I took two clean two cleanup tokens and removed a ship for one. I then used it again for another two cleanup tokens and another one. That is two tokens. So I think I forgot to do that. I'm just going to do it now. And I also think I forgot to do that, which is take two non-metal resources. So I'm going to take two kelp. Yeah, there we go. I didn't use the powers. No, I didn't think I did. Um, now, does that change anything? Let me just check. The end of the game is over at the end of a turn when at least one of the following conditions occur. So in the multiplayer game, um, you finish that round and play one more round. In this version of the game, it just, it just ends. So yeah. I could end the game right now by building something there. I could risk it and dive. And I think I might. If the wrong card comes out, the boss is going to get three points over me. But yeah, let's do it. I'm going to dive probably one more time. Okay, yeah, it's a shame. So I get one resource of my choice. The boss gets two fish, which go there. So the boss builds there, which means this moves. Um, and I get a resource of my choice. Yeah, so I've l I'm down two points by doing that. Because that metal is going to be worth a point to me. And that's not helped me at all, has it? No. In which case, I'm going to build. This is my last action. I'm going to build. It costs me two kelp. I'm going to build a port here, which is a doctile, which isn't going to get me any points. So it 
doesn't really matter which one I choose. No. Uh, the ship moves, but that doesn't matter. That gets removed and two more come out, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I've got a column bonus, which doesn't matter. And then I could use this ability, which is to convert two resources into two more cleanup tokens. But I'm not, oh, I am, I'm going to spend the fish. I'm going to spend one fish and do one cleanup. I'm going to, I'm going to keep these. It doesn't matter because these are worth points for me at the end anyway. I think that is it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking multiplayer rules. Multiplayer ends when there's one building left. The chat is probably telling me. Yeah, Chrissy says, I thought your board had to be empty. You're absolutely right. Board has to be empty. Oh, right. So it's not over. It's not over at all. So instead of that being built there, I should have probably built something that might actually get me. Oh, no, I can't. Everything's. Yeah. Oh, dear, 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 dear. So it's not over. That was a really bad mistake then. Yeah. I was thinking that would end it, but it's not. So I do want to spend the other one for another cleanup token. Yeah, why not? Right, okay, so back to me. I can't build now, so we're going to have to dive. Oh, dear, this is terrible. Ah, now at least I can choose which way it goes. So we'll put it like that. Is the fish any good to me at all? Oh, I needed to build an academy there. That was my whole plan from like half an hour ago. Ah. Oh. Yeah, right. There's, a, there's quite a bit to think about in this. This is a clever little solo mode. Um, well, it's going to have to be this. Going to have to be this. So I get a fish and a kelp. Okay. And then my opponent gets a fish and a metal. So the fish goes there and the metal goes there. Okay, so I still can't build now, and if I dive, that might trigger the end of the game. So if a building gets built here or here, that triggers the end of the game. But I don't think I've got a choice. I think I have to dive. The last row ability uh, here, it is to trigger one of your dock tiles and take cleanup tokens equal to however many resources you can spend. I kind of want to do it because it's three points. So we're going to dive and I need kelp and there is kelp, but it will trigger the end of the game. If I put it that way, it will not trigger the end of the game. That way is going to be six points for the boss and end the game. That way is going to be three points for the boss and not end the game. It's going to have to go that way. So the boss builds here which moves my ship. I'll just put it there. Um, and then I get a fish, a metal and an artifact. Oh dear, this is... I thought I was doing all right. That's the freshwater caves, that is. So, what are we going to do now? I, I still can't build. I need four kelp to build there. I need six metal to build there. I need five fish to build there. And I need six artifacts to build there. So I'm going to have to dive again, which is probably going to trigger the end of the game. Yeah. Rats. Oh, Edward's here. Hi, Edward. You didn't realise that I designed Lost Relic for Mage Knight? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, the last two expansions were me and a friend, but the Lost Relic specifically was all me. Uh, with some help, of course. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much my scenario. But yeah, that whole expansion was me and a friend of mine. Larger wasn't really involved in that. Right, last dive action, I think. Yeah, this is going to trigger the end. No matter which way I put it round, so I will put it that way because that gets the most points for me. Right, so I get a metal, I get a kelp, I get an artifact. My opponent gets two fish, which go on there, which means 
that gets built and that triggers the end of the game. Interesting. I want to play this again straight away because <laughs> I think I've learned a lot. I can't because I've got some plumbing to do. Um, but anyway, right, let's do some scores. So the boss has scored, uh, what was it, 20? 20 plus 3 per building. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 27. So the boss has scored 47. Okay, and I think I score as normal. Yeah, I score as normal. Okay, so basically, resources. Um, I have a port here that allows me to convert up to three kelp into points. So I do. So I get three. Uh, I have a port, a dock here that allows me to convert metal into points, which I do. So I get three. And I have another dock here that allows me to convert kelp into points, which I don't have any kelp. Right. Then I score for the actual dock tile itself, but I only score for my things. So I get three for these. I'll just add these up. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. None for there. So I get eight for my docks. So six for my resources, eight for my docks. It's not looking good, is it? Um, flotillas, it's basically the points printed on them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Specialists, I've only got one. Cleanup tokens, I did a lot of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, here we go. Six, fourteen, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-eight. Yeah. Six, fourteen, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-eight. Well, there you go. Beaten by the boss. <laughs> now, I enjoyed that. There's no customizable difficulty in the game. However, I mean, yeah, you could customize it, but to be honest, see, I don't mind games where you're trying to score as many points as you can. So 38 versus 47. Technically, that's a loss. Technically. Um, but if you can't ever defeat the boss, you could just say, play on an easier setting and make it 10 points plus three per building, which means I would have won. So if we house rule it, um, and make the boss easier yeah no it's fine that's that's a good challenge that and i that was my first game playing it solo um and there's definitely a couple of mistakes i made i mean in the multiplayer game timing is important timing is just as important in this game as well and the way that the the boss builds buildings so quickly yeah you've got to be very careful about that because in the multiplayer game at least the cost of building buildings increases for your opponent as well as yourself. Whereas in this one, yeah, yeah, that was good. Anyway, I enjoyed that. Um, this was it. This is the end of my official coverage of Seastead. I did a, an unboxing yesterday. I did the tutorial and playthrough of the two player game yesterday. So if you've just watched this video and you want to see how the game plays multiplayer, check out the video from yesterday that is on the channel now. And then today, solo playthrough. So yeah, thank you very much to WizKids for asking me to create this video for them. Uh, I hope you found it useful. As I said, yesterday's video shows you how the multiplayer game works. Today showed you how the solo game works. Definitely, uh, definitely an interesting challenge. Definitely will play it again. That's everything. Uh, have a good weekend. I will be back tomorrow, 4 o'clock UK time live with a pre-Essen live show. Uh, me and a whole bunch of guests are talking about some of the new hot games that are coming out at Essen, which is next week. Yeah, it's next weekend. Wow. Um, that's come quick. <laughs> what a crazy year. But yeah, that's happening tomorrow, four o'clock UK time. So if you're interested in seeing some discussion about some of the hot games that are coming out soon, um, yeah, check that out. But for now, thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for helping fund the channel. Uh, and I will see you all later on. Let's find the right button on this. I think it's this one. Right. Cheers, everyone. Goodbye. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.